call him? Yes. He's my son, Manuel Ramores. Manuel, too. Do you have any idea who those men were? No, senor. I, I do not know. I did not see them. It was so dark and so quick. Maybe you could tell me. Manuel, he wears the badge. He only tries to help. Not from him. I take no help from an Apache. Manuel. Manuel. Something wrong? No. Something eating on you, get it off your chest. Well, I just met an Asandado. His name is Ramores. Don Esteban? And his son. Manuel. I've heard of them, but I never met them before. Never any trouble out their way, and they live out pretty far. Family ain't exactly new. Been here 200 years and more. Got their lands direct from the Spanish king. When they come out, there wasn't nothing. Or nobody here. My people were here. Now, oh, Sam, I mean. No offense, Sam. Forget it. You're asking about the Ramores family. Was a time they owned a big chunk of that. Real big. They still got one place left about. 100 miles south, five, 6,000 acres, I'd say. The rest is gone. Well, there's always 10 ways of losing land for every one way of holding on. Wouldn't say your people helped much, neither. Burning and killing for 200 years. My people were at war. Now, Sam, you got to understand how I said it. I'm not blaming, I'm just pointing out. Family like Ramores, about all they got left now is a pride. Mm, too much of that, especially the son. You gonna tell me about it? He could get himself killed. No more, Mr. Mabry, I am warning you. No more. It is no use. We are not going to sell. It seems to me that's up to your potter, say. He has said it. He told you this afternoon. It is no good. You cannot make him change by beating me. Beating you? You will not find it so easy next time. I will be looking for you and them. Um... Ain't you ever heard? We got law here, boy. You want to bring charges, you gotta have proof. Until you get it, you better not bother me. This comes to you and your kind, I'd just soon stomp you down a spit. You should have known. You stand with him, huh? I stand against murder. His back was turned. I'll hold on to this for a while. Sure. Make it easy for him. Not too easy. There are other guns. You heard it, Marshal. I heard. Ain't thanked you yet. Have a drink? Why, well, don't have to be the hard stuff. A bottle of wine. Sit down. You got some nice wines here, Sam. Imported. French, Portuguese, Spanish. Bartender, bottle of your best Spanish wine. Funny thing you pick in the Spanish. I like Spanish. It don't hardly make sense. I mean, you wear your hair Apache style. I wouldn't think you had no love for him. It's pretty clear you don't. You think it's personal, Buckhart? You're wrong. 
I've been saying it for 20 years. Just ain't no room for their kind out here. They've been here a long time, Avery. Long don't count. It's what they done. They had the chance and they never done nothing. You want to know who made this country? Us. Men like me coming out here with our folks when we was kids. Cutting back mesquite and chaparral, scratching for water, gambling everything we had on a few head of cattle. Working in the winter till our hands froze, and in the summer till our skins burned clear through. Don't you talk to me about long. You're trying to buy Don Esteban out. Ain't just trying, I'm going to. Made the deal last week. And I'm giving him top dollar, too. Gonna sign and seal with the lawyers tomorrow. Not according to Manuel. Well, he could change his mind. You never know. Could a lot of things happen by tomorrow. Like what happened tonight? You think you can beat them into signing? Now, it seems to me you got the shoe on the wrong foot. You heard him just now. He threatened me. Man's got a right to defend himself. <laughs> Why don't you just put your nose in that glass of wine instead of where it don't belong? This matter's pure personal, Buckhart. Ain't nobody's business but my own. One against one is your business. Three against one is mine. That's what I said. Nothing, Sam. Ain't one blast of things can do. Not will Mabry make some kind of move. He made his move tonight. He left a sign all over Manuel's face. You able to prove Mabry done it? You got Manuel's word against the three of them. Man like Cass Mabry, all the holdings he's got. After saw real silly and caught him getting riled up for a few thousand acres. It isn't the land. Then why? What's he got against the boy? His name is Ramirez. That's not enough, Sam. No question, your heart's in the right place. I know, my badge is on crooked. It might be. This ain't no backcountry cow town, you know. This is Santa Fe. We got law and lawyers. Swarming like cockroaches. I know, I know. All right. We bring Mabry in. Ten minutes later, he's got a whole army of lawyers. Twenty minutes, they got him out. And thirty minutes, he's up at the state house. Yelling from a scalp. Uh, it's just a way of talking, you know. This is Manuel's. He has a right to defend himself, too. It could be he's going to talk to the Spanish. Yeah. You don't figure the old man's seen us tonight. Maybe. You know, he talks. He can make a lot of trouble for us. You better go tell Mabry I'm going to wait here. Thing to find here, senor. I wasn't sure. You have no danger for me, senor. Only the young are brave enough to hate. Where is he? To the father. Making confession. Does he expect to die? We did not talk about it. Senor, I want to help him, if you can help me. You made a deal with Mabry, but you changed your mind. For Manuel, he begged me. The land, whatever is left, has always been his whole life. You knew this, and yet you were going to sell. Why? I was afraid. I was afraid, not for myself, but for my son. 
when Senor Mabry said that if I would not sell. And tonight was a warning. You know, of course, it was Mabry and his men who beat your son. You did worse. You made me out a fool, Apache. Is it what I did or what I am? I thought you'd seen enough hate for one night. Not for a hundred years. Not for your kind. Manuel, Manuel. Stand back, Father. Have you forgotten? Has it been so long? I was five years old. He took me on a trip to Tucson. I could not wait to get home to tell my mother about it. I could not wait to get home. But the Apaches came there first. They burned the house down. The servants were all dead. I never saw my mother again. I learned to pray that she was dead, too. Put the gun down. Manuel, he, he only wishes to, to help. I told you we take no help from him. Not from me, from this. I could save his life if I had some reason to bring Mabry in, if I had the smallest proof. We have no proof. You're wrong, my son. We have a proof. I saw them tonight when they were beating you. And you bring charges? I'll get my hat. Why? What good will it do? He will put them in jail for a week and then what? Oh, no. We will settle with Mabry ourselves. Him or us. Senor, trust me. This is what the law is for. I will get my hat, senor. Father! I thought you'd need it to defend yourself. I was wrong. You go into the office, I'll get made. You set him up for the kill! That's enough! What time you got? It's coming up to seven. Getting out of breakfast time. Say something about eating? We'll wait. Lorden's tired. Told him you'd send somebody to relieve him. You better get over there. And remember, nobody goes past that door. Either way. It's been a long night. Do you say anything? Jazz keeps walking. It's all right with me. A man that's walking is only thinking of doing something. When he stops, he'll usually try to do it. Mabry and his boys are just waiting for him. They'll kill him the way they did his father. You got no proof of that. Now, you go easy, Sam. I ain't about to make no charges unless I'm sex to and even to make him stick. We get the proof. I think the boy knows something. We can just get him to talk. I wouldn't count on it. When I can't hold him forever, neither. Only so much you can do. Don't let it eat you out, Sam. Ain't nothing you gotta prove to nobody. 
Sure was glad to see Asa. My feet had just about all they could take. I'm not the only one remorse, too. Remorse what? Uh, I reckon he got tired. He stopped walking right before I came over. Here they come. Go on ahead, I'll be along. Avery, I can't stop you from waiting here. But if anything happens to Manuel, I'm coming after you. You come, you better come with proof. With or without proof, I'm coming after you. Well, you take my advice and better come with, or it's gonna be a real pleasure to kill you. As much as to kill Manuel? Well, now you ask me straight out, I'll tell you straight out. I don't like your kind no better than his. Nihil sine audio. Apache talk? A Latin phrase I learned at Harvard. It means for some to have no hate is to have nothing. Oh. Engine talks real big, don't he? We can put a stop to that, Cass. I liked your father. He was a fine man. I just want you to understand I'm on your side. So you hold me here like a prisoner? For your own good. I'm hoping maybe you'll ride out of town. And wait for me on the trail? No, oh, no, I will settle it right here. That's what he wants. He wants to kill you. Want to help him prove it was self-defense? I am the one to claim self-defense. Go and ask. Ask? Ask who? Did Mabry say something? Who heard him? Who? It could make a lot of difference, son. You've got a chance if you listen to us. My father listened to you and he is dead. He wouldn't be if you'd come to us in the first place. Get out. Get out, Apache, get out! I'll be at the office. You'll tell us, or I'll hold you to the devil grows wings. You'll tell us. Put your coat on. I'll take you for breakfast. Anybody see it? There were three of them, senor, on horses. Did you see their faces? Would you know them again? Oh, it was so quick, it, and their faces were covered. Oh, the poor man, he did nothing to them. He was only walking across the plaza. Give me a hand, will you? You were lucky, Sam. No cracked ribs. Looks like all you got out of this one was a crack on the head. I don't know if it's one of your saints or mine, but someone was taking care of you. Know who tried to run him down? Know why? A of maybe knows he's trying to help you. So if you're holding anything back. All right, don't talk, but I just about had my fill of you. We tried to help. That's our job, but you ain't worth getting my best deputy killed. Go on. I'm not holding you. Go on, get out. Well, go on. There is something about Mabry at the lawyer's office yesterday. Senor Martin, he can tell you. Thanks, son. Am I gone? You 
you understand, Marshal. The relationship between a lawyer and client is highly confidential. The law specifically states... You are representing Don Esteban in this deal? Yes. Yes, he, he's been my client for a great many years. And I suppose Manuel will retain you to help settle the estate. Estate? My father was killed last night. Tell him who did it. How would I know? How would I know such a thing? I know Tell him! Marshal! Tell him what happened yesterday when my father told Mabry he had changed his mind. Tell him what Mabry said. Tell him. <laughs> He said that unless your father went through with the deal, he'd kill you. And he said he'd kill Don Esteban, too, if he had to. And clear the country of him and his kind. He would have held us back. Why? Did Mabry threaten you, too? Yes. Last night he came to my house. You put it in writing? Yes. That's enough for me. There's no time like right now. Mabry! I told you I'd come after you. I told you what had happened if you did. You come right ahead. Tell your men to back off. <laughs> Them? They don't take no orders from me. Just take their pay. <laughs> The boy don't change it that much. There's still three of us. You want to talk it out, I'm as reasonable as the next. Buckhart, are you loco? You got no cause? Ain't nothing happened to that boy. To his father. You can't put that on me. What proof you got? Mr. Martin, the lawyer. He said it would be self-defense. Of course, I can understand, but Martha's upset. Anytime you don't get home all night. I know. If I was you, I'd go right home now. Uh, I mean, after you ride me over to school. Senor? I am leaving to take my father back. I find it hard to say what I would like to say. I find it just as hard to listen. Only one thing. There is no hate anymore. Grazie, senor. Are you, senor? Well, Tess, with his people, that's a way of saying you're friends. How about it? You ready for school? I'm ready, senor. <laughs> All right, let's go.